Hi, I'm Laura McFadden, the Director of Visual Arts at the King's Academy. It's my pleasure to introduce to you tonight all of our students from the Smith Family Conservatory of Arts. In this visual arts showcase, you will be seeing our students and examples of their work from our following classes this semester. We have Middle School 1, Middle School 2, Painting 1, Painting Honors, Architectural Design 1, Portfolio Development, and Art 2. These students will be sharing with you two of their favorite projects that they worked on this semester. You'll get to learn a little bit behind the scenes, how they had their thinking, and all the design work that went involved, and maybe problems that they had to overcome and solve. The second part of the show mixed in will be our AP students. For our AP students, we have AP Drawing and AP 2D. For the AP Portfolio, they have 20 pieces that they have to submit for their scoring. So you will see five of their original works that are high in quality and specifically designed with great technical skill sets. Then they have a sustained investigation, which is based on a central idea of a topic that's really important to them. And they have 15 works of art that they've worked on all year. We hope you enjoy the show.
Cecilia Brunelli. I'm a seventh grade art student, and these are the two pieces that I selected to showcase for you guys today. So the first piece that I did was the airplane, the paper airplane project. That was the second project that we did. We did it right after learning how to do basic shapes, shading, and composition. And what we had to do, we had to fold three paper airplanes in, in between one or three, and then we had to um, put them against a black background so we could learn how to shade properly and shade in the direction of the form. So what we did was, um, first we took a picture, then we um, got the background done, then we had to learn how to get the folds correctly, and then when we were done with that, we used white oil sticks to highlight what the um, white pencil can highlight. And, um, on oil sticks, then a couple projects after that, we did the donut project, which was um, just donuts against a colorful black ground um, on oil sticks. And for me, that was my favorite project because I love oil sticks. They're actually like my favorite medium, but for me, was what was a little bit difficult was the getting the highlight right on the Boston Cream Donut because it looked a little bit bluish and we had to get the tip just right so it wouldn't contrast with the background. Um, these are two of my favorite projects. That's why I selected them and I'm really excited to take art next year. Thank you. So our project was to design a dorm um, for a college of our choice. And for this, I chose North Carolina because I like the college. Um, right here is a concept panel, kind of keeping it nice and simple, nice and sleek. Use some light blue in there to kind of keep it all in the good color scheme. Um, these are some different floor pans that we were kind of looking at, just to kind of see where everything would fit. Um, let's turn it around. Uh, this shows some different views of how the room could be laid out. This has two different beds, and then some, some tables. Um, this has one bed, maybe a bunk bed in there. It's just some different layouts. But for my design, I decided to go with um, bunk beds just to save some space. Uh, have two little desks just for little workspaces. Then I have a big dresser just for clothes and everything, a laundry basket for laundry. Um, and then some other stuff just for extracurriculars like uh, guitar in there, just stuff that you enjoy to do. So that was the dorm project. Um, for our second project, I decided to do our bathroom designs. So for this, we were told to maybe pick a different, uh, few different styles and kind of try to figure out what we like, get some colors and stuff. Uh, I decided to stick with like some whites and grays and some, some more uh, monochromatic colors just to keep it all nice and neat and uh, organized. Um, so for this, this is our medium bathroom. So if you look here, you can kind of see, uh, not too big. I decided to go with gray and then I did tile on the wall with a nice little vanity and a mirror. Um, this was actually our smaller bathroom which I decided to, uh, actually it's not a bathroom, it's just a shower, which I decided to go with some subway tile and then some marble on the floor. Um, uh, and then this is our larger bathroom. Uh, I still went with gray, went with the tile on the wall, a nice little vanity, and then a picture on the wall. Hi, my name is Trace Papadic. This is my first year in art, uh, eighth grade art, middle school. Uh, these are my two projects. We did a paper airplane before, and then recently we just got finished on with our oil pastels. As you can see, we got to work with a little oil stick and white colored pencil. And we worked from backward shading, so we had to do it lighter to darker. As you can see, it's really dark and uh, oil sticks is a really tricky one but we, we learned from the best and as you can see the shading all across and the blending it's not just one color it's many and yeah that is it hi my name is reese Whitebell. i'm in eighth grade and one of the first pieces i've done this year is the paper airplane in um the mediums are that i use were black paper, white color pencil, and a white oil pastel. For, um, 
I couldn't get the shine I wanted, so Mrs. Fainting gave me a white oil pastel. From this, I learned my love for colors, and I soon to I soon made um, the acorn. The acorn. Oh, it was an interesting assignment um, because Mrs. Faden taught me how to um, fix, like, um, experiment with colors and more brought and more like find out different shades of brown. Okay, so these are the project. This is a project I chose to um, submit for the um, art showcase. So this is my paper bag project. It's made with oil sticks. And this is my favorite project I made so far because it was really fun to do and it was my first time using oil sticks. And I learned lots of new techniques while making it because at first I couldn't see the shapes and I wasn't just like, I wasn't um, drawing the bag right, but then Mrs. McBain and showed me how to see the shapes by outlining the, um, the original picture I had, that way I can see all the shapes I got. It's one of my favorites. And then the second, the second one I have is my popcorn drawing. And this is also one of my favorites. I liked it because um, this was like the first um, uh, a col white color pencil drawing I did, and it was really pretty, and it was really fun making it. I chose two artworks. The paper bag and I chose this one because this is my first time using oil sticks so it was really fun but it got really messy and it is a paper bag and my second one is my popcorn piece and I like this one because um, I loved using the black and white and it was really fun um, layering and stuff and learning how to use the white um, on black. I, I picked this piece because I liked how I drew the bag and the contrasting colors in the background. And I picked this piece because of how intricate the popcorn looked and um, how the shading looked really nice with the lighting and how it looked like the base picture. Hi, my name is Gianna Pena and I'm in seventh grade. And for my first piece, I chose to do a composition of paper bags using oil sticks. I learned a lot from this piece with blending and making sure to shade correctly. And I used a lot of color in this piece and it taught me a lot. And for my second piece, I chose to draw a piece of popcorn and it taught me a lot about shading in the direction of the form and using the right values. And it really helped me understand better techniques for shading. Um, my name is Camilla Hoet and I picked this piece because I liked how the shadows and the highlights look and um, I like how it defines the, the shape of the popcorn on the top and I picked this piece because um, I liked how I put all the highlights on like the side on the um, on the bottom of this part and I like um, made the crease of the bag show I guess yeah okay. Hi, I'm Reese Thomas, and I chose um, these two art pieces because this airplane really shows dimension and how an airplane forms, and it showed me how to shade in the proper direction, and um, um, and I chose this cake because it's cake. Why not? You know, gives the good vibes, and yeah. Hi, my name is Lyra Vernon, and this is my first art piece. This is my um, popcorn studies. I did all of this in white colored pencil, and this really helped me with my shading and adding dimension to the popcorn and um, adding like reflection and shadows. And for my second piece, this one really helped me with color and adding those creases in the background and in the paper bag. And uh, this one helped with shading too.
Thank you for listening. Right, so this is my airplane piece. It's just black pencil or black paper and colored pencil, white colored pencil. Um, it helped me a lot on like learning to shade and like different angles and stuff. And then this one is the candy piece in clear wrapper. This one is a lot about highlights and reflections. Um, I think they both turned out really good. So yeah. Um, my name is Natalia Toronto. I'm in eighth grade and these are my two pieces. Um, I did them both in oil stick, which is like pastel basically. Um, with the bag, it was hard to find the shades because it's brown and you can't really find any other colors with brown. Um, but it really helped me, yeah. Um, and I think that the um, donuts were my favorite because the form was really easy and finding colors wasn't too hard. Hi, I'm Jasmine Custodio and I'm in eighth grade. And these are the projects I chose for the art showcase. This first project is my paper bag project. I used oil sticks to make it and it was one of my favorite projects. I liked the, this project because um, it was really fun to make using the oil sticks for the first time. And I learned a lot of new techniques like um, outlining my um, reference photo that way I can see the shapes and it made a big difference from um, what it was before and what my project is now and on to the second one this is my popcorn piece it was my second project um, of the second semester and I really liked it because it was um, I only used one one thing and it was um, a white colored pencil and I can't believe I made um, like a whole art piece of it and it's popcorn and you can really see the shading and I put a lot of work into it so that's it thank you I'm Austin Atkins I'm in 10th grade and this is my abstract art piece so basically we took some paint and just put it on there and then so I here I just poured it and then moved the painting around so it spread away and then just threw some colors around so it wasn't like the same spot. So it wasn't like your attention was there. And then I did pink here and pink over here to balance it out so it wasn't in one spot. And then the dark kind of like moved your eye there. And then that's basically it for that. And then my other project is this one. So we just had to take photos of what you like to do and put it on top of each other. So I did baseball, because I like baseball. And I did different colors to like make it, not like the whole, like the same thing. And then this light kind of made it a little better. So it wasn't as like plain. And basically it. Hello, I'm Tatiana and I've chosen two pieces of my artwork uh, that I will share. To begin with, my first piece is an abstract painting where I use a series of paints in a cup and uh, drip them onto the canvas to create a wavy look. Um, like that. All the colors, they kind of merge and then I shift the canvas so that it drips more with the puddles of paint. So I use the mixture of blues and greens um, some neon, white, uh, and then black with mainly just the white to create that look, so like kind of illusion. So then I added, because uh, I copied like this, because I pressed paint um, into the canvas, and then I copied that effect that I had created with the white paint with oil pastel along it to make lines. Uh, I'm not used to just stripping paint and letting it do what it wants to do because it's I like to have control over my piece so this was a very fun experiment to have since I'm not used to doing something like this. My next uh, piece is a self-portrait photo editing so I took a picture of myself and like dim lamp light when I went walking my dog. Uh, then I had drawing I did on my iPad, pushed it to the background, lowered the opacity. Then I added 
effects to dim it more and change the color. Uh, and then I added a glitched effect, the tool, and then little light bubbles to give it some life so it didn't look so dull and gloomy. And then I had to cut out my face from the same image I used, uh, lighten it up so then so that I could re-put it onto the piece so that my face would um, stick out more. Hi, I'm Eric Bowden. I'm in 12th grade. This is the wax encaustic piece that I chose. Um, so I just put a couple layers of wax over this wood palette and then we used melted oil sticks to kind of blend colors together and create images. So this is just depicting a strait that I um, visited in Spain. Uh, I used kind of like a light blue oil stick and rubbed it in over here to create kind of like a sky color. And then I scratched that over to make it look like wind almost. And then this is the strait itself, just kind of like brownish colors. And um, I finished it off with superimposing an image of like a compass. I printed it out and then traced it with wax onto the piece because it kind of looks like um, cardinal directions from like 14th century, 15th century um, exploration photos. So I did that. And then this was my, um, my self-portrait photo. This is just me fly fishing in Utah because it was supposed to be about like activities that we enjoy. So I used uh, a couple of image layers and like color changes to make it, um, it kind of makes the rock formations in the back look polygonal and very basic, and I thought it was just a cool look, so that's why I chose those two. So this is the Four Squares project. We had to take nature and um, just like kind of redesign it in our image, what we kind of think that we want to take the spin on, and it can't look like what we took the pictures of. And we just used just like ink and like pencil just to like outline it, and it, it all had to be like the same, like it had to be cohesive, but like different at the same time and it's just on a red like a piece of paper. And then my little um, wax piece here, we used wax. I wanted to do something bright, like I wanted to use bright colors. So with the um, sky, I wanted to do the different blues and then like you took um, the aluminum foil to like press it in and to create the clouds. And then for the grass, I just took like a paintbrush and kind of just like dabbed it on and it kind of made like this like mossy kind of texture. And it was supposed to be like light and bright and things like that. Okay, so for this project, it's called the sibling connection. And basically I took my relationship with my brother and I turned it into a wax painting. And basically I took photos from our time in Florida and from our like adventures and travels together. And I really focused on our relationship and how even if we are struggling, we're always together and we always um, bond with each other when times get tough or hard and when we're both happy and we're traveling and like the flower petals in the painting, we're kind of just floating along and we're always going to have each other. So I really wanted to focus on our relationship and that bond. Okay, so for this project, I decided to do what I call flip the good times and the bad. So basically, it's when I got sick with my food allergies, I basically looked to God to help me get through it. So the left side is when before I got sick with my food allergies, and then the right side is when I wasn't feeling good, when I was down, when I was losing hope. So it's just kind of like two different sides of the story and it just kind of how everything came together and you can just kind of see the two different sides and how they were all united under hope. Okay, this is like um, like a night sky kind of thing, like landscape um, in, on a wooden board, I think. And um, this is an encaustic um, ball landscape on a tile. So my first piece was a digital portrait collage. Um, I decided to do mine in like physical print. So I edited together like a couple photos of myself from currently and when I was younger and me playing hockey because that's like my main interest. And I printed one out black and white and one out in color. And then I cut it into really thin strips and wove it together. So I thought that created a cool, interesting look. And then our second one was she gave us a ceramic tile and encaustics, which is like wax paints. 
and I started out creating this water because we used a heat gun and it really got the wax to like flow around and created a cool like water effect and then I added some kind of like mountainous trees and a sunset and made it kind of just an interesting landscape. So this is my abstract painting that I did and I used purple pink and blue tones to create a flower pattern so that it looks like a garden. And then this is my abstract cube and I melted crayons and made them like a sheet and then I took them and I broke them off and made them on the cube. So, hi, my name is Jackie. Those are my art pieces. The, the first one is a picture about myself. I present to introduce like, uh, introduce me in different mood. And uh, this part is about the sky because I always look at the uh, sky uh, after dinner for a while. And uh, this one is a really colorful one. And I created that one for the Chinese New Year. And uh, this is a word, this is an animal call because this is a year of call. And, uh, yeah, those, those are the like celebrations. That's all. Uh, hi, I'm CJ Hobbs. I uh, did a, a digital piece on the process of running and all the stages it goes through and kind of just like the mental part of it. And I also did a piece on kind of like the, how the trails work and the routes that they take and how they're always changing. Hi, I'm Ava Wilkerson. And this one is with all my pictures that I put in like in the background. It's a boat, so like we're in a boat. And I also did like abstract paintings for this one. And I used oil sticks and I'm going for like more of a sunset and with like peach colors and sparkles for gold. And I also used the ends of um, a brush and I kind of put out some yellow and orange so it kind of make, looks more like the sun. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Maya, and this piece is done with ink and pen, and it's a reimagining of the world around us. And this one is an encaustic called In The Unknown Regions, and it's a way I um, reimagine I, uh, friendships with um, um, the different backgrounds and cultures my friends came from. Hi, my name is Kyle Barnowski. I'm a senior at the King's Academy. I've been here for 14 years, and this is my first client presentation. So I, my client was my grandmother. She lives in um, Indiana, and she was looking to redo her living room, as you can see, as a living room. And she wanted to add a couple modern touches along with the fireplace in the middle. Um, so what I did was I took her pre-existing design and I added a modern fireplace with a TV up top of it. And she lives by herself and her favorite color is pink, so I had to add pink touches because that's what she wanted. Um, my next project was the Padron bathroom, which was an interesting project because we kind of we were kind of hired to do it. And if our project was good enough, then the Padrone company would um, build our design. So what I did, I sticked with gray tones, as you can see, and I made it basically a modern design. And that's all. I'm Cassie Abdelis. I'm a senior at King's Academy. And so for this project, we had to choose a tile and design a bathroom for it. So, to design our dorm room, what we would like it to look like. So um, I went with the University of Tampa and this is like the overview of what it would look like. And then these are just some other pictures of how I designed my dorm room to look. My name is Isabel Aiken and I'm a senior in high school and the work I'm presenting today is a remodeling project for my sister. Um, 
I really wanted to put a, a certain color palette that she really wanted. She wanted something with pink and black and somewhat like navy blue features in it. And she also like required a study, a study like area for her to do her work and then also a resting area that wasn't her bed, just where she can relax and do what she wants. And then we have a basic floor plan of what she wanted as well as 3D images of the setup that she kind of wanted in her room. Um, we have a resting area and a study area as she requested, as well as like keeping kind of the color palette somewhat akin to what she originally wanted. She changed it a little bit after consideration. This project's about um, a bathroom setup that we were told to do by a client from a, unattached to the school. Um, my first setup was only a shower and that was all. And then a third, the, this one was the full bathroom, not including a shower, with gold accents as well as the background that the client wanted originally. My name is Will Barnowski, and my first project was for the first client proposal. And these are the designs for the room. Um, this is the room that my mom wanted to be done. And the floor plan with carpet and white walls for the room we put a couch on the back wall with three reclining chairs in front um, on one of the walls there's a fish tank and a bookshelf with a mini fridge and then for the tv stand we have the tv and then books in the bookshelf for my second project we have the padrone bathroom design um, these are the concept panels for all of the bathrooms and these are the different tiles for the bathroom. This is uh, the first bathroom with double sinks on both sides of the wall and a shower in the back. This is the second bathroom with one sink, a tub and a shower. For the last last one, it is just a shower. And this. Hi, I'm Clarice, and uh, I'm a sophomore. This is my to design for the, this year. And the first one is for school. It's a dorm room for the TK. And that's the floor plan. And the style is modern style. A basic change is we change the we have a, a study area and change the back to bigger size. And that's the study study area. We have six girls living in the dorm, so the six six six. And that's some Florida like detail elements. So green leaf and uh, cross dye. The second, the second one is the we design for the drone company. So we have three space for the bathroom. And the first space I designed like Bobby Zappi style and that kind of Japanese style. This 
one is smaller size, so okay. I kind of have two things in here. This is the wall, and you can put them right on this face. And the idea is to have this one. Hi, my name is Lane Curtis. I've been at the King's Academy since sixth grade, and uh, this is my first year of architectural design. Uh, my first project was the uh, client master bedroom and bathroom presentation. My client was Christy Curtis, which is my mom. And uh, yes, this is the bedroom and the uh, bathroom right here. And uh, she lives in uh, Loxahatchee, Florida, with me, obviously. And she uh, she likes the more rustic theme. Uh, Kind of style. And then my next project was the uh, drone bathroom design ideas. And my, my ideas were dark modern, white, and black and white. And uh, that's all. Hi, my name is Aisha Ewald, and I'm in 10th grade at the King's Academy. And this is my first year in architectural design. So this is my first project that I've done. And it's the concept panel that we had to choose because we had to choose our college that we wanted to go to and basically create a dorm, a dream dorm, with, and we had no budget. So I chose Howard University and basically this was my concept panel for how I wanted to do my, my dorm and how I based my dorm on. Then we had to build the construction on a program called Room Sketcher and that's just basically it. This is my living room and basically my relaxed area and my hallways that was uh, in my dorm. And basically, um, I wanted to go for a more Western urban kind of style. So that's how I did this. Then this is my bathroom and my closet. Uh, and also a part of my bedroom. So that was also part of the project. So this is a more recent project that we have to do. It's for Padrone. And basically they sponsored us to do a project for them that we had to do. And basically we had three bathrooms to do. And based on the sizes that they gave us, these are my inspirations and also parts of my design. And basically, I wanted more of a darker kind of bathroom, so that's kind of what I did here. And that's it. Thank you. Hi. Hi, guys. I'm Jay Kim. I'm in Architectural Design Honors class. And today I'm going to talk about some of my projects I did in the class. First one is the kitchen remodel project for clients. In this case, my girlfriend, Mari Gomez. She wanted some kitchen, like more look kitchen with some black, white, silver, and gold color scheme. And the basic info about her is like she is moving out for college this year. And then I had to consider the size of the kitchen according to like usual the studio size of kitchen. And then she wanted really modern look kitchen and lots of storage space and lots of natural light. She also wanted really like minimal design. She didn't really like any design points to be in there. So I tried to build a black and white modern kitchen as a customer requested. Those are my concept panel, like similar types of design I wanted to build. Main elements I was considered was clean and neat design and utilities and modern look and kitchen island and black and white color combination. There's it. After I designed the kitchen, I, I built this in the, the room sketcher app. It's basically building the build like design in the applications. Those are the 3D model slide the views, the slide left view as the four cabinets on each side and I put micro in there, and then refrigerator, cabinets, and I can adjust the light by rolling up the blinds and rolling down the blinds. blinds. And it's my next project, which is the Padron bathroom remodel project. It's like the Padron family just kind of wanted us to re remodel their like three types of different 
bathroom. So I personally like black and white color combination. So I try to use really neutral colors again. And for space A, I designed with some black and white color schemes with some marble on the bottom. And I tried to use more space because it's like bigger space. I try to use black and white scheme anyway. For space C, it's the smallest size. It's basically just the shower to sit. So I try to use the marble for the bottom and then the white tile on the on the wall. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Preston Lang. Uh, these are my still lifes, one of a spoon and a knife, and the other of apples and a bowl. And both, uh, we, were we were working on catching the reflecting light. Uh, these in the spoon and the knife, and this one in the bowl. I was also working on the shadows. Uh, Mrs. McFadden really had us emphasize on catching the, um, the colors that w the objects were reflecting, and really getting each um, color in every every space. Uh, I'm Shelly Lee. This is my two art pieces. And this is ocean and this is a shell. Uh, Mrs. McFadden helped me a lot with this drawing and I like them both. My name is Ray, Ray Collier. Um, I'm in 10th grade and these are my favorite two pieces from my painting honors class. Uh, this is just a drop of water, and this is a painting of clouds. Uh, my name is Matthew Bonet. I'm in painting. Um, this is my water painting. It took around two weeks. And this is my painting of clouds. It took around a week. My name is Maris Krosha, and this is my water painting, and this is my shell painting. 
Um, my name is Leia Custodio, and these are my two paintings. This one's of water. This one is of a shell that um, Miss McFadden brought for us to try and paint. This one's more abstract. It is of a water hitting the camera underwater. So that's why there's a bunch of circles and splashes and waves and texture and things like that. Um, this one was, we had limited paint strokes. That means we could only do so many. Um, it was really difficult because <laughs> sometimes you want to go in and smooth things over, but then it would count. So it just keeps you loose and helps you do form quicker. And that's it. Hi, I'm Angelina Redneck, and I painted this sky, which I took from a picture when I went to Miami a few years ago. And yeah, I really liked how the, like using the brush, like dotting it on, even though it wasn't really Mrs. McFadden's favorite thing, but I thought it was fun. And then this is the apple that I painted. It's, um, it took a while, but I flipped it upside down when I was painting it and it made it easier to do when you don't, you're not paying attention to exactly what you're painting, but the colors putting into it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Megan Avacious. I took painting and these are my two favorite paintings. This is like clouds and stuff. And this is oranges. Hi, my name is Natalia Palacios and this is my first semester taking painting class. Um, I did these two projects and this one is a water painting. I think I called it Go With The Flow and it's a pool water painting. Um, it was a lot of fun painting it. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun um, trying to get all the hues and all the different colors and shade of, shades of the blues and it was a lot of fun. This one was my favorite one to paint this whole sem semester. And then this one is um, just three lemons. And I like that one because we were able to learn how to paint like the different shades and where the lighting was coming from. And I was able to like represent it with the blue shades underneath the lemons. Hi, my name is Andrea Lara. Um, I did a cloud painting and I took a picture of the clouds here at school and that's how it came out. And then I did an ocean water painting of my pool and yeah, that's how it came out. Hi, I'm Coco Jess and this is my art piece. I drew a popcorn. Uh, the art process was that Mrs. McFadden brought in popcorn for the class and we all took pictures. And this was one of my breakthrough pieces because I draw really well and I'm focusing on little parts and in the artwork there's little parts uh, that I can focus and section on and yeah. My paper bag, um, this one was really difficult for me at the beginning because I wasn't finding the different shapes and angles and colors. I was just drawing a straight bag, but then Mrs. McVadden helped me do this technique where I outline the different shapes and uh, angles on a piece of paper after the picture, and then I started drawing a lot better. Hi, my name is Adeline Roach. I'm in seventh grade, and um, the first piece of art I have is a popcorn drawing. Um, we all, she, Miss McFadden brought in popcorn and we all took different pictures of different angles and then we figured out where the best light source was and where it had the best shadows, that way we could draw it. Um, this piece took me the longest so far this year because I focused on all of the little ways to shade it and all of the details and I was behind. Um, but I ended up catching up and I'm, I like how it turned out because I can see all of um, the shadows and the angles and the directions of form. Um, my second piece is um, a watercolor of cake. Um, I actually made the cake and then painted it. Um, it was one of my favorite pieces because I've never done watercolor before and I liked experimenting on how to mix the colors and the different angles and um, the lines making them straight and dented. That way um, it shows it's not perfect, but it also works as a one piece altogether. Hi, I'm Ella Rodila and um, these are my pieces for Portfolio Development Honors. 
Um, so for these pieces, I'm given a theme. And for this one, it was water. This one, it was nature. And I use gouache paint to paint them both. So for this one, like the character is kind of flowy like water. So that was just what I built my character based on. And then this one was just like a portrait using kind of like nature colors, like greens and yellows and um, kind of more of a monochromatic theme, which I did for both of them. Um, Hi, I'm Rachel Sargent. I'm a junior at the King's Academy, and this is my first time taking an art class. I chose architectural design because I'm looking to going into that in the future. This is my Padron bathroom design. It was really interesting um, because our school partnered with Padron um, on making new designs for their showroom that they're making right now. I chose these tiles, the Florida tile and the marble, because it's really in right now. It's really modern and it gives it a really sleek look. We had to build three different designs. Um, I chose to build one for a tub, one shower, and one just like um, vanity area. Uh, this is the tub area. Um, I chose to implement a lot of art designs and woods and um, bronze features to make it, to give it a more sleek look. Like I said earlier, we did three designs. This is my um, shower design. I did this, I went with the same Florida tiles and the marble, and I added the same marble on the walls. I added for like little shelves here, and all the features are uh, dark bronze. Um, over here, this is more my uh, brainstorming. This is where I thought of like how the tiles would go together and like everything would go come together in the picture at the end. For this project, Miss McFadden told us to um, get a client and build what they wanted us to build. So I chose my mom because we're remodeling our house right now and she wanted me to um, design a new kitchen for her. Um, something she wanted me to implement were the white cabinets, um, specifically acrylic polished ones and um, just like the organic like wood uh, shelves and um, bronze like features. So based off what my mom told me, um, I went ahead and went into a Room Sketcher which is the design program that we have here and um, I designed exactly what it was that she wanted and just it made it easier for her to um, see what it would look like and see what um, if she liked it or not. I went ahead and added um, all the, the details so that she could really get a feel for it. My name is Abby Alvarez and I selected two art pieces that I feel really pushed my artistic skills and portfolio honors this semester. My first piece I've chosen is my digital art piece named God Always Wins. To get this photo, I took one of my classmates and actually painted handprints on his face. From there, I enhanced the photo and turned it into a digital art piece. The red handprint over the boy's mouth shows Satan as most of the time it feels like he is silencing us. The white handprints are the pure Holy Spirit. It's a sign that God will always be for, here for us and lift us up even if we don't feel like he is. My next piece is an oil pastel piece done to represent the fire inside of us. It's called the Distress in Flames. Before doing this project, I used a lot of mixed mediums to figure out how I wanted to go with this project. I tested out with heat guns, wax, and oil pastel. I decided that I really wanted to use a mixture of everything. I started off with using oil pastel and smushing it onto a separate piece of paper. From there, I used a thick painting knife to scrape on the oil pastel onto my big sheet of paper. As I transitioned to each color, I would continue to pull the earlier, earlier color I used before onto the next. From there, I waited a few days for it to dry to come back on with fresh oil sticks and some wax. I used a heat gun to move the colors in a more distressed way, as well as adding in some more white to intensify some sections. This project to me was very thrilling, as I love playing with so many textures. Hi, my name is Abby Alvarez, and this semester I took painting. In this class, I learned all about the different hues of colors, textures of paint, and even directions of brush strokes. I found a big love for all the different textures I used in this class. My first painting is a cloud painting called Seaborn Cloud. Before painting this, I took many photos of clouds from different locations, angles, and times of day. 
I came across a photo right before a sun shower. I was taught how to really show the forms of clouds by using a lot of water and using various C shapes with my different size brushes. While painting this, I made sure to display all the colors that I saw in the photo I took. I used many different colors of white, some with hues of an aqua, lavender, or even a sage green. This cloud painting was definitely one of my favorite pieces I ever done, just because of how calming it was to paint. My second piece I chose was my water piece named Glistening Ocean. I took many pictures of the water, that being at different places and times of day. I ended up using a photo I had from a long time ago from a man-made water system. While I was painting this, I used the technique of using the proper brush and brush strokes to make the ripples appear as realistic as I could. I also added at the beginning darker dimension of the water to show the shaded patches. After this, I went lightly over it with lighter colors. I made sure you could still see these darker tones even after going in with a lighter color. To help me get the water looked, I learned how to use a specific paint. This paint was called gel medium and I really began to enjoy it throughout this piece. I love the way this photo showed many natural colors of blue. I really enjoyed painting this because every day I felt like I learned something new. Hi, my name is Madison Skinner and I am taking the architectural design class at the King's Academy. I am a senior this year and I have attended the King's Academy for two years. So our first assignment was the Padron bathroom tiles. So we picked three bathrooms, three different sizes. One was a pool bath, which is my space A right here. I implemented this tile from the Waterloo collection. It is a like black and white theme, so it goes on the floor which was my main um, reasoning for picking this tile was to add like a little contrast on the floor. So in this one, this is the full bath. So there's a shower, a, ba uh, a bathtub in it, there's some shelving and a sink that is black. This one was the concept panel of this, um, this one down here. And then for my space B floor plan is a half bath which I implemented a background of black from the shower wall to the floor. And then from the sink behind and the wall on this side is the um, white mosaic tile from the pack collection of the drone tiles. And then for space C was just a um, single shower, which I decided to add, add a little pop of color. So it's a light blue with a um, brass shower head and a black floor. So our second assignment was to pick anybody that you know and redesign something for them. So I chose my dad. He asked me to redo his office space in Rosemary Square. So right here are actual pictures of the office space downtown. And so I redesigned his office unit, which is a nine by 10 space. So we left all the paint on the walls as it is a rented space. And we just added some like a clear whiteboard on the back wall, a new desk, some shelving and some plants and shelving on this side, along with some um, artwork on the sides of the wall. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Alan Chen and I'm in the architecture design class and this is a project for dorm design. So my, my design is focused on three different features, temperature, health and atmosphere. So I created a concept panel. I picked the colors for a more balanced, uh, warm and cold color com combination. And I picked five different materials corresponding with the color. So this is my concept panel for the sample designs I pick. And then I started to draft the design. This is the design I, I draw. And you can see there's many features like the AC and some air filter. That to in improve the uh, environment and then I also have uh, put the different materials for wood and uh, the wallpaper to increase the temperature and atmosphere of the, of the door. And this is my final design. So you can see I have three different sections. One section is the, the corner of the bed and I put the wallpaper, the dark wallpaper in the back to create a cozy environment for a little cozy corner for sleeping. And then I also have a section besides the window uh, for a sofa and a lamp for, uh, for reading and uh, anything casual. And I also have a desk for the work and any computer works. Also the shelf on it. 
I also add several cabinets to improve the storage. The cabinets on top of the uh, sofa section and then the, uh, uh, a huge cabinet uh, besides the bed for clothing. And I also have multiple lighting and different temperature of the lighting. Let the lighting for the lamp is warm to make the uh, different colors contrast with the lamp besides the bed, which is uh, more colder light. Uh, I also have some lights on top of the desk to create like a studio vibe for more focus and muscle. And yeah, that's it. Hi, I'm Alan Chen. I'm in 12th grade, and this is for an architecture design class. And this project, we're going to create furniture with uh, cardboards. So our team chose to do the car, the furniture with more uh, natural vibe and more organic form, uh, in, uh, including some Italian uh, style curves and uh, different type of shapes tied together. So I designed these two furniture on the right side, on the right hand side, and then for the the chair, I use very simplistic organic format so it looks like a human and then the format the form of it I bend it with the water and then I dry with the hair dryer and I tie them together for this simplistic design that have very uh, uh, simplistic minimalism uh, style to it. For the lamp I have an organic or a structure on the top that represents like flowers and it grows on the grows uh, downwards and then the uh, the balance is achieved by the, the holder and then the, the base that kind of achieve the special balance that's not symmetric. And that's, that's for my design. And uh, welcome to Jay for the, his, his design. Hi, I'm Jay Kim. I designed the furniture on the right side, those two. I designed the table. I got inspired by the, the tree. The stem is like supporting the woods and the leaves and the fruits and like that. So I designed with this. And then I designed the sofa. I got inspired by the, the clams and shells, and oyster. It's, it's gonna like kind of cover up the person who's, whoever sits there a lot. I really focus on the, getting enough support for it so that it will be really stable and no one can really fall and stuff. Yeah, that's my time. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Mia Van Alstein and I'm Kate Wallace and we're in Mrs. McBaden's architectural design class and the assignment for our project was to make uh, like a scenery out of cardboard furniture and so this was what we worked on together and, and um, okay so we made like the art, uh, it feels like an outside environment and all of these pieces of furniture are meant to be like an outside living space so um, we have these two tables right here which have like a all of our pieces have like a sharp triangle kind of design to them and these two are just little like side tables and then this thing in the middle is um, for like plants and it's going to be just like a kind of like the centerpiece of the whole thing. Um, and then over here we have a bench which is a little bit different. A person can sit on like either side of it and that is kind of a cool, um, cool <laughs> and then over here is just a pot with a plant to kind of give it more detail. Yeah, and that's our project. Hi, I'm Allie Van Reith and I'm in 11th grade and I'm in Miss McFadden's um, architectural design class. And for the first project we did um, a dorm room of like our dream. So I kind of have like a little layout here where it's like where I want to go to school maybe and then the like format of the dorm room and then here are like my concept ideas so like my ideas to get like what I want to design and here's the next one. so there's like a few more of those concept ideas and I did a front like the front door the dining room the kitchen and then the living room and I wanted to do like a pink theme, but there wasn't really like pink options in the like room sketcher, but so I changed it to like blue, which was kind of cool. And then I did my bedroom area with the closet and here's like the shower and the bathroom and yeah. So 
and then here's a little bit more. <laughs> and yeah, so that's my dorm room. And thank you. <laughs> um, this is the Padrone bathroom um, project. So we got to like design a bathroom for a company, and um, it was it was kind of weird. I don't know, different. And we used Room Sketcher to design like all of our ideas. And I chose like this from their like their magazines and stuff like that and like what they had and then I created it in my own way and yeah that's it. Hi I'm Kate Wallace and I'm in Mrs. McFadden's architectural design class and for this assignment um, we are supposed to kind of design like our dream dorm room for like our future ideas and so I started off with my concept panels and I put down that I was looking into Liberty so I looked at their layout and their dimensions and I put down like my ideas for like options for how I would want like my room to look and how I would want the layout and like the interior design part to be. So then if I flip it over, it goes into what I designed on Room Sketcher. So I first made sure I had like the same layout of them. And then I went for more of like an open floor plan because I don't like to feel claustrophobic in rooms. And so, and like the front, when you first walk in, there's kind of like a living space for people and it leads you into the bathroom, which is like an easy access. And then it goes straight into like the bedroom with the beds. So it's very open and easy to access everything. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Sydney Troutman. I'm a junior and I'm in Miss McFadden's architectural design class. And it's my first year. So this first project, we had to create our dorm room for our dream school and mine was SCAD. And then we had to go look online and find pictures that were inspiration. These are my inspiration pictures. And then we used an app called Room Sketcher to design it all out. This was the kitchen, the hallway. That's the SCAD dorm layout. That's my floor plan, the living room. This is more of the living room, the bedroom, living room, hallway, another bedroom. And then this is the hallway area bathroom, more of the bedroom than the bathroom. And then the next project that we did was we had to design bathrooms for this company for drone. And then we had to design three different ones for their spaces. So that was my inspiration pictures for the space, then how I designed it, and then the materials that would be used. And then this was the other bathroom that I did, and then how it would be done. And then this is my last bathroom. Thank you. Hi, my name is Cindy Jansen, and I'm a junior. And today I have two pieces that I prepared for you from my painting class. So both of these pieces are centered around the Bahamas, which is something that I love and I'm very passionate about. This first piece is a picture that I took of the water in the Bahamas. And I painted it with acrylic paints and brushes. And I used lots of different colors and long brush strokes in order to convey the movement of the water. I found this piece difficult to try and display the different movement of the water but I like how it ended up turning out. For my second piece, I have a, another picture that I took of my uncle's dog who lives in the Bahamas. And I wanted to paint this picture with, I did it with acrylics and a palette knife. I used lots of modeling paints in order to get that really textured look. And I used editing apps in order to make get the different colors that I wanted. And I struggled with the proportions and getting the hat and everything to look correct, but I think this one also turned out. Hello, my name is Logan Angelinski. I'm a freshman and this year I took painting one and drawing one. So this piece is from this semester. It is a painting of Gino Beach that I took about a month ago. It took me over three weeks to make and I made it out of acrylic paint. So my second piece is a pastel egg drawing. I did this in October during my uh, drawing one class, and it actually took me only one class period to make, and I did it over quarantine in my house. 
My name is Ashley Vanderbilt and I'm in painting and for this assignment we had to focus on clouds. So I use this picture from Palm Beach of the clock tower to emphasize the clouds in this um, given project. I am Max. Um, this is my uh, print. It was a uh, theme was like fire and ice and like difficulties in the past. So, you know, I'm on a train and there's fire in the back and you know, ice up here. It's supposed to symbolize like moving through things, kind of, but yeah, that's the, uh, the print. Okay, so my name is Mia Van Olsen, and I'm in the architectural art class with Lee Smith Faden, and this is one of my projects that I did on Room Sketcher, and this is just, just a re redesign of a training room here on campus, and so these are just all, like, ideas of, like, other campuses, like, at colleges and stuff that I went off of, and then these are just granite ideas. And then this was an actual redesign on Room Sketchers, so really the biggest change is just put built-in cabinets in and um, just kind of like do it out in the back a little more. And then the challenge for this one is that one of these walls are like fake walls, so it's hard to put cabinets on fake walls, so that's something that I have to figure out. But other than that, it was really fun project. Hi, I'm Ella. This is my 13th year at Kings and my first architectural design class. Um, this is my probably one of my favorite projects we did in her class. Um, this is our client presentation and um, it was pretty cool because we got to make our, our design come to life in Room Sketcher. Um, this is my room I created and I created for my grandma. Um, this is my other project that I did and it's called the Padrone Bathroom. Um, we had to create three spaces and all of them had to be different. So that's my last one. Yeah. Okay, I'm Morgan Stevens and I am Miss Smith Faden's architectural design class and this is my first art class I'm taking. Um, this is one of my favorite projects we did where we created a new space for an actual client. And so here I created a laundry room space that would be more functional and easier for the client to use. So this is just the general layout of the space. And then I incorporated more things into the laundry room like a dog washing a dog washing station or like a bigger sink or more storage areas just to make it more easier for the client to use on a daily basis. And then for my other project that we did, we worked with a company called Padrone where we created bathroom spaces to represent the tiles that they would show in their showrooms. So this is just one of the master bathrooms that I created using more of like a wood design and like an industrial look to show their tiles. And then here just shows a better view of the bathroom overall and then all the tiles that would be used based on what they have in their store. Hi, I'm Marin Zikowski and uh, this is my fifth year at TKA and this is my first time taking an art class. For my first project, I did a young adult hangout room remodel for my mom and we used that room sketcher and I redesigned like a little kid room into an, like a bigger kid room for like video games and hangout. Um, some client background is my mom wishes to change her kids playroom into a bohemian chic hangout room for her teenagers. She is, she's a mom of two and no, realize that her kids no longer need a place to play with toys and need a place for them to hang out with their friends. She loves the color pink and white and she used to live in California, so we brought some California to the East Coast. We have a big TV to play video games and a couch area for people to sit at. These are my three entries for the Padrone Flooring Company. My, these are my concept panels. I did like a farmhouse and a modern. And then these were my tiles and flooring and then the floor measurements. For my first space, I did a golden pink design with a hexagon flooring. And I love gold, so I add some gold textures in there. For my space B, I used black marble and some shiplap, because those are my favorites for my bathroom. And then this is the second part with a black mirror and some marble countertops and gold accents. For space C, I did a palm leaf wallpaper with some shiplap and marble on the floor. Hello, my name is Sofia Mendez, and I'm a senior here at the King's Academy. Um, and for my architectural design project, we have, uh, my first one is a, is a remodel presentation. Um, I had to choose a client and I chose my mom. She wanted to 
remodel a room in our house. It was, it used to be a bedroom, but she wanted to convert it into a laundry room. Um, so for these kinds of presentations, uh, you really need to know your client in order to know what they want and their style. So we started off with a bio of my mom and just kind of some concept panels um, showing her, her style and the kind of colors and everything that she liked. Um, and then I started also by giving a little bit of a description of the actual project as well as the requirements of the space and the restrictions that my mom had given me specifically. Um, so for the project, I just took measurements of the room itself um, in order to get all the dimensions. I created phases as to what I was going to do in each phase in order to do this whole remodel. Um, and then I just incorporated elements that my mom wanted in the space, like um, a, a, an area to fold clothes and a sink uh, where she can hand wash things and hang them up. Um, so yeah, that's the, the first project. <laughs> so for the second project, uh, Padrone uh, is a company that uh, manufactures and creates tiles. So they gave us dimensions of spaces um, um, in their warehouse where we can create little showrooms to show those tiles. So I made a little concept panels and I used tiles from their, from their book in order to incorporate it into my design. Um, so for the first bathroom, I used this kind of blue mosaic tile um, and I also created this, um, this like sink area, this vanity area um, in our in our program. Um, they didn't really have what I was looking for, so I had to kind of use different things in order to make it the shape. Um, and then for the second room, it's a little bit of a bigger area, so I did a, a double vanity using the same tiles, just in different areas in the whole room. Um, and then for the third one, it is, uh, it's just a shower, so I kind of incorporated two of the tiles that I had recently used in the other bathrooms and mix-match the colors in the third tile.